There has been no word on the Marines at this point. All right, this model of helicopter has been at the center of deadly crashes in the past. ABC 10 News reporter Natalie Chuck spent the day combing through the details of old crashes and even spoke with one mother who lost her son in another crash in 2018. largest and heaviest helicopter in the U.S. military, but it's still not immune to problems. In the past, we've covered a handful of crashes and emergency landings involving the CH-53E Super Stallion. This one in Bonzel in 2020. Yeah, definitely quite a sight to see that thing landing on the side of the freeway. The military says it was doing uh, some sort of training, but something went wrong. And this one in El Centro back in 2018. It took the lives of four Marines, including Lance Corporal Taylor Conrad, just 24 years old. He was the youngest on that. Like, yes, he, he was he was the baby of the bunch. We've called him the baby Marine. Don Beckham is his mom and lives in Texas. By the time I reached out to her, she had already been reading the latest headlines. Another CH-53E crash, this time in Pine Valley. Being the exact same helicopter and my son was based in Miramar and they were headed to Miramar. It was just a lot of similarities that brings you back to that just devastating night. In that case, there was a two-year investigation, and the Marine uh, investigation found that there was a defective part, uh, and we ended up bringing uh, an action directly against the manufacturers and suppliers of that part. David Casey Jr. is an attorney. He represented two of the families of the Marines killed in El Centro in a lawsuit against manufacturers back in 2020. It was settled a couple of years ago. I'm sure it will be looked at very closely uh, by the Marine Corps, given the history of what has occurred with this particular aircraft. Still, retired Marine Colonel and pilot Eric Buer calls these helicopters reliable and safe. That's coming from someone who flew on them many times. You know, millions and millions of flight hours on any platform, you're going to have instances of, of fatigue of the, of the aircraft, and there could be some human factors involved in any type of, of uh Incident. The CH-53E Super Stallion has been used by the Marine Corps since the 1980s. The Marine Corps is about to replace it with a new version of the 53, which is uh, deemed to be more reliable, safer. I know it's not perfect. I know there are people who say there's way too many crashes, and, and I agree. And if there's one crash, then that's one too many. And if one life is lost, of course, that's one too many. Um, but they are working to improve it. Natalie Chuck, ABC 10 News. We do want to stress again, we still do not know exactly what caused this aircraft to go down today. That will be a long investigation.